Now let's go to my my katukayo. There you go. I, I, I'm in love with him when I found out again. He's Ron and I said, yeah, I'm a Ronald too. Oh my God. <laughs> That's, That's right. amazing. But Ron, again, always weird to say your name in, in, in a third person's uh, point of view. But Ron, what That's was right. your hustle prior to this? Because again, you, again, lawyers, I love working with lawyers mm -hmm. because my co-founder, uh, my better half, okay, my my co-founder for life is Mr. Joseph Acuna, who is a lawyer. And I wouldn't be able to go this far without having him in this journey. Right. But walk me through your, your hustle prior to this and how did that also translate eventually to Miami? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, my journey to Miami started way before I was mm -hmm. even in law school, right? Okay. Um, the thing is like, um, my grandfather was a, a farmer. Mm, and wow. Yeah, that's right. And you know, my, um, my he was so poor, okay. right? That um, he didn't want farming for his kids. So most of my uncles mm -hmm. and my aunts, they they went to Manila. Mm -hmm. um, my father got into government, and then um, actually I have an aunt who sells meat in the Palenque. Wow! And then I have a I have a cousin who's a jeepney driver. Mm -hmm. So um, then maybe fast forward, I was lucky enough to get into UP and then I took up law, mm -hmm. right? And then, you know, we talk about these things about um, justice, which really nothing but um, inequality of opportunity. Yeah. So I thought to myself, like before the pandemic and during the pandemic, you know, we were talking about, we were always complaining about, you know, why is it that, that farmers get the short end of the stick? Yeah. And then it just so happens that 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 Jeff was um, someone I know from from school. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Shout out Jeff Barrero, by the way. He was supposed to be here, couldn't make it, and I've, I've known him. It's the first guy actually that, I, that I've met mm -hmm. uh, in the Miami team mm -hmm. through my angel Julian. Uh, so right. shout out. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like um, putting my money where my mouth is. Okay. And I did actually put up money in in Miami. As, as a matter of fact, I was Miami's first angel investor. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. It's kind of like that. No, but since obviously this is personal to you. Your roots mm -hmm. go all the way to the farm business but again I've I've heard similar stories before where children of farmers have been really plowed through pun intended um, to be given better opportunities so perfect example of this is before in our episode Mr. Dado Banatao right. had a farmer a son son and the son of a farmer and uh he was given an opportunity so that he can get a better life. I think uh, David Almirol also mm -hmm. of Multisys had a farming family. But I want to understand mindset-wise because you know that every single opportunity you're given now came from very humble beginnings and mm -hmm. literally blood, sweat, and tears. Right. How did that impact your perspective in everything that you're doing in your profession? Because, and again, this is a full circle moment with you because it goes back to your roots and trying to pay it forward. But while you're trying to go through that, 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 that process, what was that at the back of your mind when you're going through this? Is that something that you were intentionally wanting to go back to? Or is this something that you saw that, hey, this is a full circle moment I want to be in? Uh, partly it's... Um Serendipitous, partly yeah. it's serendipitous, right? It, partly it's something in the back of my mind. Okay. When when I was in law school, it was all about you know how do I make money for myself, right? I mean, mm. as um, I grew up in a generation when um, you know, like one of the most popular movies was Wall Street. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's so very yeah, lately late, late long, right? It, yeah, yeah. It, it, it <laughs> they dates, just add I wolf it, in the current uh, version. <laughs> it dates me, right? But. <laughs> Top gun generation. That's Let's right. just call it there. So, so I kind of mm -hmm. figured out, like, um, so as a lawyer, I got into that practice where it was it was profitable, mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't my idea of um, the things that I wanted to do when I started gotcha. getting into law school. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, of course, I, I realized that if I had gotten like. Farmers at clients. Number mm -hmm. one, they don't pay well. Number yep. two, my impact would be limited. Right. right? So um, I could possibly impact a family, two families, three families mm -hmm. of farmers. But then um, Miami came along, and and that's a way I saw for myself to scale mm -hmm. personally what I had to 
contribute. Got it. And at the start, it was really just, um, you know, um, I, I lend my brain power because mm. I know that startups, every startup, they need guidance. Right. Um, they're going to have to deal with regulators either um, somewhere down their journey. Right. Yep. So that was the first thing that I said that I very simply that I could contribute. Got it. Other than that.